I V M. Lanzo with popular middle order batsman from Karnataka, Puneet Panya. <laughs> Who's laughing? Left arm not so orthodox uh, in the new year. I don't know if it's the first time, but I'm definitely going to say new year for the next three four times to be safe. A new year, but for Australia it's been the same year. And we uh, talked to an Australian who's come all the way from Switzerland, a young man called Puneet Panya. Puneet, you're a comedian, but you're also a cricket lover. You've played cricket for many different teams, all underage. And tell me, have you seen an Australian team this strong at home? They won five matches in a row, test matches. That is, they obliterated Pakistan. They won all four or five in four days, and they obliterated New Zealand. And Nathan Lyon got ten wickets in Sydney, which is actually his home ground. Although he plays for Western Australia now. Yeah, a quick they, word. Are, they are like robots now. I think. See, the thing is that everybody's saying the only thing that can take Australia on at home is India, and yeah. we are going there at the end of this year for the for what will be almost a final amongst finals for the Test Championship. I'm talking Test cricket for will, a second. Will they stop playing Tests after that? That will be. They like, may because there's a big uh, imbroglio over this four-day Test uh, idea, which Mark. Taylor Ex Australian captain came up with, where he says they basically play hundred overs a day for four days. So you play four and a half days worth of overs. Okay. For because forty overs more you compensate. So you lose only fifty overs in the five day test. However, having said that, uh, you free up one day. So the in the test calendar, if you play twelve test matches a year, twelve days are freed up straight away. And more days for ads. More days for ads. More days for recovery. More days for marriages. The birth of their children when they leave and all that. <laughs> so, uh, but a lot of people like Ricky Ponting, uh, Tendulkar, all the big names that said rubbish. Nathan Lyon who got all these wickets says I need the fifth day to you know as a spinner to exploit the conditions and he bowled them out on the fourth day himself. Uh, that, that, uh, after saying that, <laughs> by taking a five first, he looked like an idiot. There's no need for the fifth day. It, what do you say? It won't last forever. Test matches anywhere. Are oh, so hard you're saying it's done. Yeah, it's done. I mean, I, I saw Harsha Bogle say all those things about how Test cricket is like. Harsha Bogle is a man who lost hair in his thirties and has more hair in his forties. Yes, it's so a, reverse science himself. Yeah, it's a new religion, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so he said that uh, there's no hope. No, he's he's still batting for Test cricket, saying no, there's some romantic element to it. No, so all like, of us who grew up in the seventies, eighties, and nineties will, yes, to some extent. Yes. But you're cynical about this. And you think there's yeah, no in the Netflix era, there's no chance. No chance. You don't even think with this innovations of four days and maybe lesser overs and this kind of no, thing. No, unless they make a real, reality show. Day night test matches. Saurav Ganguly had a packed house for Calcutta. Uh, yeah, they, they'll try a lot of things, I think. But as it stands right now, the White jerseys, five days, nobody's watching. In the Netflix world, who's going to So watch? it's like video kill the radio star. Yes, exactly. T20 has come and destroyed everything in sight. Yeah, yeah. All right. In fact, having said that, there's a Mumbai has just got hammered by Karnataka in the Ranji Trophy, and we've lost in the last six times. We've lost four times and drawn twice with Karnataka. This is Mumbai, which has won 285 matches in Ranji Trophy. The yep. next number is Karnataka and Delhi with about 200, just about. So that is the lead we've had all our lives. The great Mumbai cricket uh, culture and all. But with the rise of T20 culture and all the critics like Shishir Hathangadi and all Mumbai captain X have come up and said, up to the IPL auction, they all play very well in all forms of cricket. After IPL auction, the four day Matches and all that nobody's interested in, in the, and, yeah, and, and, and yeah. that's symptomatic of Mumbai, the mighty powerhouse. Yeah, yeah, it's it's gonna go down every because people are seeing also the benefits of uh, all the stardom, all the fame, right. and the money. So, Puneet, if you had a kid, and I'm not saying you don't have because I know you've been to uh, Poland for three months and you've not explained why. <laughs> but uh, in case you do have a kid, would you push them into a T20 sort of culture and say that's nah, all you need to do? Nah, nah. This this is the usual, no? Get them into engineering. <laughs> 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 Let them blame you for the rest of your life. And engineers in the end will land up in the middle order. Is what you're saying. <laughs> All right. Okay. One one final thing I want to ask you uh, because we're just looking forward to the calendar. India now goes to New Zealand. Okay. We have three one day games. Uh, I'm going to be in Wankhede with you, cheering India versus Australia on the 14th. But we uh, basically we played next Test match is in New Zealand. Uh, conditions which uh, not always favor us, but we now have the best bowling attack they say in the world. Do you yeah. feel that we can actually uh, destroy New Zealand in their home conditions with the ball? Will do a bit. It's it's a. I I think we have a good chance mm-hmm. with, with the current team right now. It is a good chance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, do you think this is the best team you've seen uh, in your last ten or fifteen years of covering the game as a professional scribe for a, a digital channel <laughs> whose name I can't mention because you don't really know who it is? No, I think it's just it's, it's like comparing like Tyson to a. No, it's, it's that sort of an argument. Actually, you your, your reference again is like mine. Only I will understand who Tyson is. <laughs> for most people, Tyson is a boxer doggy in the locality. Tyson, Tyson. Oh, but yes, that's sad. Go, but, comparing uh, Tyson to a football boxer. Whose names you don't even remember, like Klitschko. All right. Okay, uh, Puri, thank you so much.
so much. You've been as usual a breath of fresh air by contributing nothing to my show, Lanso. <laughs> Luckily, our standards are so low that we don't care who comes on. Is so it, if you is have it a neighbor, a show. It is. If you have a neighbor, aunt, or uncle who has nothing to do, please send them here for All Lanso. Right. For yeah. Lanso, okay. Yeah, they don't have to say much. Just give decisions from time to time. We'll see you soon. Lots of cricket coming up for India, but uh, that'll be next week onwards when Australia tour India for a force three one day tournament. <laughs> just just to celebrate that the T20. This is true. I'm not joking. That the T20 World Championship is in October in Australia, but you have to come to India because 92% of all eyeballs are Indian. Why did you open your mouth? You're not even on the show, Abbas. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it there. I'm going to have to call for the third umpire. Sorry, no ball. Sachin Tendulkar, Virat Kohli, Don Bradman, and now Cyrus Brocha. Okay, probably not in the right company. I mean, Don Bradman is Australian, but it's called Cyrus Says. A wonderful show about everything. Find the show on the IVM Podcast app, ivmpodcast.com, or wherever you listen to podcasts.